right, guys, welcome back to another video. We have some big info here, some stuff to talk about when it comes to the Xbox Activision merger. And we got the subpoena information. We got the final ruling as to what Sony is going to have to provide in those documents that Microsoft has tried to subpoena out of them that they've continuously tried to extend and push away and have tried to quash. Now we know what Microsoft and Xbox are going to receive. So this is a tweet here from Microsoft that says, FYI, the FTC denied Sony's motion and ordered the company to produce the documents requested by Microsoft's subpoena. Motion is granted in part and denied in part. Sony only needs to show their exclusivity deals from January 1st, 2019 to present. And I think those exclusivity deals from then until now are going to be extremely interesting, especially the ones that happened since the launch of the PlayStation 5 with Square Enix. I would love to see that type of stuff and the timed exclusive deals it just I hope that stuff eventually makes it out to the public because I think that would be extremely interesting to give us insight to behind the scenes, behind the closed doors, business workings of PlayStation and of Sony. But we'll go over here to the actual FTC filing, the actual FTC document. It says, based on the foregoing, the motion is granted in part and denied in part as set forth below. One, SIE's request to limit custodians is denied. And the custodians are the documents of the actual executives that Microsoft will receive. And we we heard some stuff that we're going back and forth on that. And apparently from Foss Patents here, he says that the judge even threw out the argument from Sony that the Japanese executive files being a Japanese would have made it unduly burdensome, but they're still gonna have to provide those documents because that did not persuade the judge. Go back here, number two, SIE's request to limit document requests, including requests 14, 19, 22 to 25, 28, 29, 35, and 43 to the time period of January 1st, 2019 to present is granted. And that's going to include those third-party exclusivity deals. So we're only going to see stuff, again, from January 1st, 2019 up until now, which I think, I think that's probably more than enough information for Xbox and for Microsoft to be able to use that to help with their case going forward. Number three, SAE's request to quash document three is denied. SIE's request to quash document 13 is granted. And there's actually another uh, page here about request 13. This is what it is. SIE's, SIE seeks to quash request 13, which seeks documents related to performance reviews and evaluations of SAE CEOs, as well as the employees, direct reports, or other related leaderships or management. Motion at eight, SIE argues that such information is not relevant to this case and constitutes an unjustified invasion of employee privacy. So that would be Jim Ryan. You're not going to see the performance reviews of Jim Ryan and any employees that directly report to him. So if that's something you were hoping would have, would come out, it looks like that has been granted. So that's not going to be happening. Next up, we have uh, SIE's request to quash document. Request 35 is denied. And then SIE's request to quash or limit the subpoena, including its definitions, instructions, and document requests in accordance with Exhibit H to the motion is denied. So there it is. That's the list of stuff that Microsoft Xbox are going to receive versus what they are not going to receive. Now, will any of this come out to the public? That's the main thing from... People following this case want to know, will they be able to see the stuff that Microsoft is going to use within their case in order to try to get this merger approved from the documents that PlayStation presents? And we actually have Florian Miller Mueller here from Foss Patents, and he's replying to somebody asking, thing is, this will be revealed to the public, it's a question, question mark, because okay, judge granted some, denied some, but all the documents will be revealed. I am seeing lots of fans waiting to see the documents of third parties Etc. that will be revealed or everything will be confidential. And uh, Foss Patents reply says, I should have explained this. There is a trial schedule to begin on August 2nd. So that's to make it all the way to August 2nd. Theoretically, anything that Sony has to produce or deliver here could be used there and that will be public. They can try to have the courtroom sealed, but the hurdle is very high. And he goes on and says, also the courtroom wouldn't be sealed for the entire trial, maybe limited parts, if at all. Someone actually replies and says, there's already a protective order on confidential information, but he replies back and says, yes, and then it's a case-by-case -case determination whether a document can be presented during the public part of the trial. So I guess the sum up that answer, some of it may come out in the public, some of it may not, but it has to go all the way to that trial on August 2nd, which 
we still don't know if it's going to get all the way to there. A lot of people think that Sony is going to cut that deal with Microsoft before it gets there. If it's getting too burdensome, if they're realizing that it's just too much, they aren't going to win this deal and they're hurting themselves more than they are helping themselves by continuously fighting and pushing back against this. Against this. Or same with vice versa. Maybe Microsoft is going to come out and say they don't even want to take this to the end anymore. They'll just pay that $3 billion breakup fee and move on with their lives and then take all of that stuff that they were going to put with Activision Blizzard and probably do other things for Xbox, go out and acquire more deals and third parties and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens with all of that stuff. And, and if any of the stuff does come out, but I think it'll be very juicy. I think it'll be very interesting if those documents do come out. And if we just go back here, there was some more information on the actual types of documents that all of these numbers that are listed here that we will look at. So some of the custodians in this case were Lin Tao and Hideaki Nishino, and they didn't want them to actually have to provide files for these employees. And FTC says here, nor does SIE persuasively explain why searching for and producing Tao's files presents an undue burden to SIE. Accordingly, SIE's attempt to resist discovery as to Tao on the basis of undue burden is rejected. And I believe one of the things that they were saying, as it says here, that they didn't want to go into the review of all these Japanese language files because that would make it more burdensome to do all of that work. And they're, and the judge just said, too bad, you're going to have to do that. And then when it comes to, those are more custodian stuff, when it comes to request number three, seeking to squash request number three, which asks SIU to produce all drafts of the communications regarding President's and CEO Jim Ryan's declaration titled SIE Declaration to the FTC on Microsoft Activision Blizzard Acquisition dated December 5th, 2022. SIE does not contend that the request seeks information that is not relevant. Rather, SIE states only that there are non there are no non-privileged documents responsive to these requests beyond SIE's communications to the FTC attaching the signed declaration, which Microsoft already has. And then they say, based on the foregoing, SES failed to demonstrate that request three should be quashed and the request is rejected. So th this information, this document with Jim Ryan is going to have to be shown. Now we have here request 35. And if we go back to the idle sloth tweet, request 35 was denied. And this one's pretty juicy and interesting too. It's an executed copy of every content licensing agreement you have entered into with any third-party publisher between January 1st, 2012 and present. And Microsoft argues that the complaint in this case makes a number of allegations regarding high-performance video game console developers' exclusivity arrangements with video game publishers. Microsoft states that it is aware that SAE requires many third-party publishers to agree to exclusivity provisions including preventing the publisher from putting their games on xbox's multi-game subscription service and that understanding the full extent of sie's exclusivity arrangements and their effect on industry competitiveness will assist in its defense so i think that is huge that will be extremely interesting too if that information comes out to really see the intricacies of these deals that they put out in terms of telling publishers we will give you this amount of money. You just can't put your game onto Xbox Game Pass. They may even go out as far as giving them money. They can release the game multi-platform, but you can't put it into Game Pass. Maybe stuff like that. We don't know. And maybe these documents will come. Maybe we will learn more. But that, that motion to quash has been rejected. So that information is going to come out. And then... Uh, what's the next one? Yeah, well, that's the last one. The other stuff we already went over, it's like the documents from January 1st, 2019 to present. A lot of third-party documents that will be coming out of that. So interesting stuff here. Uh, we'll see We'll see if any of this stuff, like I said, becomes public, but I think this is going to be a big step for helping Microsoft and maybe Sony looks at this as too much information. We don't want to provide this information. Maybe it's just too burdensome. They don't want to go through it. Maybe they're looking at everything that's going on and they're thinking that, the chance that this deal completely gets blocked to their likings is, is lower than they expected. So maybe they'll just end up cutting a deal at the end of the day with Microsoft. We don't know, but we'll see what happens and we'll keep you up to date on all of the stuff going on with this deal. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new, year, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video.